What's going on, Driven Heart family? In today's video, I want to walk you through the brand new Range Rover Sport, what I would configure it, what options I would go with, and why after putting 110,000 kilometers on the previous, I have an old model. I don't know how I feel about that. But on last, the current, I guess, is it current or new? Whatever, on the L494 Range Rover Sport, um, I am stoked. I like this. I thought the presentation was eh, but man, the technology and the things that are going inside of this, this is so much better than the full fat Range Rover. Now, keep in mind, I am a driving enthusiast. I am somebody who enjoys driving, not being driven. And so this is more designed for geared towards somebody like myself. Let me know in the comments if that is you. Are you a driver or do you like to be driven? So let's dive into it. I'm gonna go ahead and build my own. And uh, we're gonna walk through different things and I'm gonna explain why I like these features, why I don't like these features and uh, everything else here. I got my cup of coffee. It's been a day. So first we have, okay, so I'm doing this on the American side. So we have the Range Rover SE, the P360. Then we have the Range Rover Sport Dynamic SE, the P400. Then we have the P44E, the Autobiography. Um, maximum horsepower, 434. So it looks like with the current way it's set up with the Autobiography, you cannot get a larger engine. Um, actually, why don't we just find that out, right? now it doesn't look like you can no we would have been that would have been the first thing that it would have told us to do okay start a new build and then the one as if i was with this is what i'm available so here's what i would buy uh it would be the range rover sport first edition uh normally i i don't really care for sport first editions but what i do care about is um having the largest engine available so, so i can go and tune it and, and squeeze more more power out of it so um yeah so let's take a look at the p530 automatic and uh definitely a slight price increase huh 121.5 uh and that's american that's definitely not cheap um you know so uh, they, they, they did kind of increase the price across the line. Uh, so yeah, anyways, let's take a look and let's, let's dive into it. Okay, or can I, can I explore first? No, okay, whatever. Okay, so, and let's just keep things simple for right now. I'm just gonna pretend I want the exact same color. I don't, I love the Frenzy Red. Apparently there is a newer or a different type of red that is coming out. Uh, which will be kind of cool to see. But let's take a look. So Frenzy Red. Next. Uh, okay, Visual Packs. So definitely I'm going to go with the black Visual Pack. What you can see here, you can see how it's changing the ugly gold trim. So I just want that blacked out. It also does the, the, the lettering and the grill. Nice tiny grill, right? Not like BMW. Nice tiny grill. So that looks a lot nicer. Okay, a little meaner. Okay, and you can see here exactly everything that it does. So let's go to glass. Okay, privacy glass. Toughened. What's toughened front and rear side glass? That's interesting. Can I get more information on that? Okay laminated front and rear glass so what does this mean acoustic laminating reduces airborne noise and transmissions through the glass and prevents 99 percent of the uv so i'm get definitely going to splurge the 450 dollars and get that glass because i do like my um it's a sound does it say sound airborne noise hmm. why not it's only 450 Okay, wheels. Now, the biggest thing I want is 20s, but they're, they're probably not going to do 20s from the factory. They're not. Wow, not even 21s. Thank God, 21s are the worst wheel choice you could possibly do because you have zero options for tires. Uh, so what I will do is stick with the 22s. Um, 
I'll probably just do the black brake calipers again. I wanted red originally, but like, I don't know, red on red just doesn't look good, in my opinion. Uh, definitely optioned, definitely opting for the full size spare. I, I just, if you want a spare, run your spare and have a full size. I don't, like, oh, I, I guess for if you're only going to be driving around in the city and stuff like that, yeah, reduce section alloy spare wheel, fine. But my gosh, like, if you're out on the trail or you're going cross country, you want a full size spare so you have access to that so your day doesn't stop. Okay, let's go to the next step here. Okay, um, sliding panoramic roof, black contrast roof. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, nothing to change there. Now, the towing package. Now, I believe if I add this, it's hidden. And it gives me an easier, an easier um, recovery point. And because I'm not actively going to be towing, I don't need to spend four hundred and fifty dollars on that. You can even you can just get this added extra third party to unlock it because the car has it in it already. But you can just get like a tune, a software tune, and it'll unlock the hidden features you don't pay for. Little tip for you. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. And by the way, this is the first build I've ever done on this, so I don't know everything that they're off, they're 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 giving and and whatnot. So this is like brand new to me. See, so semi aniline leather seats. Well, it's aniline ultra fabric. I don't want fabric seats. Okay, where it's just full leather. So okay, fuck thirty one hundred dollars for absolutely horrendous rear seat entertainment. Like, <sighs> wow, that's just retarded, straight up. I just don't know why people would pay for that crap. Like, just go buy two giant iPad Pros and give them to your kids instead of spending anywhere close to $3,100 US, jeez. Like, oh my God. So, okay. So upgrade leather. So it looks like I can't really choose anything. Now, I, I do like the two-toned. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Look at the sports steering wheel. That's cool. All right. Okay, headlining. I might just keep that ebony. Um, a light headlining is kind of cool. It's just dirt and stuff can show up there. But it does kind of lighten up the cabin. We'll keep it. Dirt can be cleaned. Finishers. First, uh, yeah, the first edition is kind of cool. Definitely, I hate this type of black because it just scratches and shows stuff. Really easy. $300 for a heated steering wheel. Are you effing kidding me? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Audio. So here's a mistake I'll never make again. I'll never buy. Not the, Now, I love my music. Music is... I just really like good quality music. So I, I use, like, Tidal on my phone. Um, it's just higher quality streaming. So you can get like, it uses a ton of data, but you can get um, like master quality, like how it was produced in the studio. So when you're pumping like your, you know, blueprint album, you're getting it how Jay-Z produced it in the studio, not this watered down crap that you can get from like Spotify and stuff like that. So um, I had the 3D surround sound system and it's absolutely incredible. It's amazing. However, that's probably the biggest regret, not getting the signature surround sound system. And when you factor in the $4,500 into your lease payments um, over like, what, 36 months? Is it really that much money um, for just that 
atmosphere. That's something I value. You might just hate music or not like music or not really care for stuff like that. So you might be like, oh, let's just take the basic one. Um, and that's totally cool. So, but yeah, no, I'm big, big on that. 29 speakers. How many speakers did the other one have? 19 speakers. Yeah, that's probably what I have. So you get 10 more speakers, more powerful amp. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's definitely what I want. All right. Okay. Cl cold, cold climate pack. Okay, so look at this. So the heated windshield, I, I paid $400 for that last time. So heated washer jets. Now, is it going to, is it going to remove the heated steering wheel option from here? Right? Okay. So I guess it factors that in. Okay, cool. So heated windshield is a must if you live in a cold place. Uh, heated washer jets because they don't freeze up on you. And well, heated steering wheel just keeps your hands toasty. Convenience pack, 500 bucks. Power gesture tailgate, I absolutely love that feature. It's something until you have one, you don't realize how badass it is. Manual rear side window um, sun blinds. Yes, that's cool, um, especially if you have kids in the back, and cargo space um, partition net. So, yeah, we're going to add that. Premium interior storage, rubber mats, cargo carrier. Um, yeah, I want those rubber mats, though, because those are sick and great for when you get your money boots in the in the truck. Um you can buy these off eBay for a lot less money. A lot less. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, uh, but I do like wheel locks. I don't know. Okay, exterior. So, mud flaps. I don't know if i do the mud flaps or not. I'd have to see what one would look like with the mud flaps because it would help prevent spray and everything, but is it gonna sit nice with mud flaps? It might, if they're black, let's just add them. Fix side steps, no, no, and no. Emergency roadside kit, you can get a proper kit for less than 70 bucks. Now, obviously we want the fridge because once again, it's one of those things until you've had a fridge in your car, uh, you don't understand how amazing it is. This, I, honestly, does it do anything? Who knows? But for $500, whatever. Yes, you want Wi Fi enabled, and then, oh wow, they increased the price for this. I think it used to be $75. Well, when I bought mine. So, um,. Okay, but I use that all the time. So $133,000 US. Definitely not cheap. So Pixel LED headlights with signature daytime running lights. So I wonder if it's the actual movable headlights or if it's just like that's what their basic headlights it sounds like this is their basic headlights again that America's getting. That's just so disappointing. Um, mm -mm -mm. Cold climate pack. So, and then let's take a look at some of the standard features. So the windshields, integrated quad tail, but tail lights, heater, rear window, rear wiper, Wash, rain sensing wipers, obviously. Kit automatic, headlight power washers. These are gone. These are garbage. They don't work. They don't clean anything except for move some dust around on your headlights. Um, don't try to tell me they work in winter conditions either. They don't. Automatic headlight leveling, that's cool. Um like they they list so much stuff on here it's like it comes with five tires and you know it's like 
All right, all right. Four zone climate control, that's good to see that. It's standard with this one. Uh, well, it's the top of the line, so obviously, but that's definitely something I would always have again. Um, center armrests, grab handles, front rear cup holders, upper secondary glove box. It's like a Range Rover thing. Okay. Um, illuminated seat belt buckles, multifunction steering wheel. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all the connectivity stuff. It's wireless Android and Apple CarPlay now, which is cool. Mine, you have to plug it in. Um, not a fan of those systems. So only soft door closed, good. Love those. Hate these flush deployable door handles. I do love walk away locking. You can walk away and it'll lock. That's so sick. That's a feature I wish I had on mine. So walk away locking. Mm, emergency braking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Linky. Capability and dynamics. So high, high low transfer case, adaptive off road cruise control. So I believe this is what they're replacing um, terrain response control system, I believe. Um, that's what they're replacing this with. Dynamics, dynamic air suspension with dynamic response pro. So that's new dynamic response pro. So I have to look into that and then we can talk about that later in a later video. Uh, he launch, he go electronic traction control. Mm -hmm. Brake pre-fill. Okay. So, cool, awesome. All right. Well, that's it. That would be the new generation of the Driven Hard Ranger Resport. Oh my God, I want this so bad. <laughs> right. I'm gonna text. Uh, where the hell are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What's the wait time? What's the what's the wait time like for the new sports for the new for the new sport? All right, let's see what she says. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Comment below. What options would you have? What things would you change? Um, I, I'm just so excited about this. This is awesome. There she is. Um, so no, it wasn't her um let me know what you would do um i'm excited to talk about this and learn about it uh, there's a ton of videos i need to watch to increase my knowledge on it but um so far i think range over nailed it this is much better than the full size one hands down but uh yeah let me know everybody and of course let me know what you are driving hard till next time